in this question, we have a crate that is being lifted um, by a constant force at uh, height of five meters. And we are asked to determine the work by, done by both the crane and gravity and the crate's final velocity if it starts from rest. So first we're gonna start with our free body diagram and we're gonna add all our forces. Okay, so at the center of gravity, we're going to add our force due to gravity, Fg. And then we have our force pulling up, which we're going to call F. It's called in the question. And these are all of our forces. So we're asked to find the um, work done by gravity first. Um, so the work done by gravity, we're going to call it EUG, is just going to be um, a difference, uh, the force due to gravity times its the distance that is traveled. Um, and since um, the distance traveled and the force due to gravity are in opposite directions, it's going to have a negative sign. Okay, so I'm going to draw it over here. We're going to pretend that um, this block travels a distance h. Um, and it's actually, I'm going to draw it as a one-way arrow. So h goes that way. Um, so since h is that way and gravity points, the force due to gravity points downwards, the force and the distance traveled are in opposite directions, so we get a negative sign. Negative, the force fg is going to be um, mg times um, h which is the distance, which is also going to be equal to negative m g h. Okay, and so if we plug in some numbers, we get negative 30 kilograms. Um, that's the mass times g, which is 9.81 meters per second squared, times h, which is 5 meters. We get that um, u g is going to be equal to negative one four seven one point five joules okay so this is the work done by gravity the gravitational force then we have the work um, due to um, the crane so this we're going to call um, work due to the crane C, and um, this is going to be equal again to the force times the distance, but in this case the force and the distance are in the same direction um, because F points up in this case. So F is up this way, H is that way, and then FG was downwards. Um, so since they're in the same direction, we're going to have a positive sign here. And the force is just going to be F times H which is again the distance traveled. If we plug in some numbers, we get 400 newtons times a height of five meters. This is gonna be equal to 2000 joules. Okay, so we can write out our answer. The answer is UG equals to negative 1471.5 joules. And U of the crane is gonna be equal to 2000 Jules, and we box it in. This is our first answer. All right, next up we're asked to find the um, the um, final velocity um, of this crate, um, assuming that it's starting from zero. So as we can see, these two forces here, the force due to gravity and the F, um, they're not balanced. So we have a resulting acceleration. It's a dynamic system, it's, it's not static, obviously. Um, so since we have a difference in force, we're gonna have an acceleration, and um, so we can calculate the final velocity after uh, five meters um, have traveled. So um, the formula we're gonna use is the kinetic, um, from kinetics, which is V final squared is equal to um, V initial squared, uh, plus 2 um, a acceleration times d, which is the distance traveled. 
Now in this case, we know d, which is 5. Um, we don't know acceleration, we're not given this, and we know that this initial velocity is 0, and we're solving for vf. So we need to find the acceleration. Yeah? So to find, so I can already cross this out, v0 squared is going to be 0. Um, we're going to find a. So how do we find a? Well, we can just simply do a force balance. Okay, so we know that f is going to be bigger than fg. Um, so we're going to assume that there's an acceleration in the positive y direction, and we're going to call this a. And this is a 1d problem, so this we're going to call um, y. Okay, uh, so we're going to do a sum of force in the y direction, and we're going to equate it to m a, okay, m a y, which is m a, because there's no acceleration in the x direction. So if we do that, we get that f minus f g is equal to m a g y, which is equal to m a, okay? So we have f and we have fg because fg is simply mg and we have both and we can directly solve for agy or a. So a is going to be equal to um, 400 newtons minus 30 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared divided by 30 kilograms. And this is going to be equal to 3.532 uh, uh, meters per second squared. So now we have an acceleration, um, we have a distance, and we can find the final velocity. So the final velocity is going to be equal to v equals to the square root of 2 times 3.5233 meters per second squared uh, times the distance, which is 5 meters, and we square root that, leads us to an answer of 5.9 meters per second. So the final velocity, Vf, is equal 5.9 meters per second. And that is our final answer.